Next, the scale of homelessness in the capital was revealed today with one leading charity claiming that the equivalent of the population of Reading is without a permanent home here in London. Shelter says there are currently more than 160,000 people recorded as homeless. It's blamed the crisis on years of underinvestment in the building of affordable properties. Chris Rogers has been taking a look at the numbers. Chris. Chris, thank you. The housing charity Shelter warns two London families are made homeless every hour. It's a nationwide crisis, but the most startling figures are here in the capital, where a report out today reveals welfare reform, housing shortages and rising rents are forcing the young, the elderly and in some cases entire families into emergency accommodation or even out onto the streets. London boroughs dominate the UK's 50 hotspots for homelessness. Look at that, 13,607 homeless in Newham. Now, that's a much larger borough compared with those that follow closely, including Harringay, which is at 9,717 homeless, Westminster at 8,054, and Enfield at 10,057 people. Shelter's chief executive, Polly Neat, says tens of thousands are stuck, trying to escape the devastating trap of homelessness. There are two main causes, really. One is just the sheer lack of housing. So there just is not enough housing available. And even more, there is not enough genuinely affordable. So, But we need to stop thinking affordable housing means affordable to buy. It's affordable for people on lower incomes to rent. So that's the long-term cause of it. The other issue is that these are the consequences of welfare reform, and in particular, the freeze on housing benefit, which means that even for people who are working, the gap between their income and even the lowest rents is simply unaffordable. Take a look at this. These are the faces behind the statistics. They are rough sleepers, those in temporary accommodation. As we revealed yesterday, many living in slum-like rooms because councils are overwhelmed. And then there's the hidden homeless Londoners, who are not recognised in official figures, sleeping on night buses, in illegal squats, or so-called sofa surfers like Gillian. I've got three daughters with me now, and there is a huge impact on them. Um, they become isolated from their own friends because they're then different from their friends and therefore they they just can't talk properly they can't express everything um and then they have to uh, move all the time move their friendships their neighborhood and they're stuck in a place that they've no answer of where they are mayor sadiq khan is injecting millions into projects to help rough sleepers and London councils will get a cash boost from the government. But Sean Berry, chair of the London Assembly's Housing Committee, says it's not enough. We're not sure that councils have enough funding to do even that, to keep people in those temporary accommodation homes. So we need new social rented homes going up all over the city. Whether the mayor can achieve that with his strategy, I'm not sure. While a spokesman for the mayor admits the statistics are worrying, his office points out over the last year we've seen a decade-long rise in rough sleeping effectively halted. Riz. Chris.